हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल फॉर नर्सेज प्रिपरेशन आई एम नीरज कुमार कैथल टुडे वी आर प्रेजेंटिंग इंपॉर्टेंट एम सी क्यूज फ्रॉम ऑब्स्ट्रेक्टिक एंड गायनकोलॉजी इन दिस वीडियो वी हैव इंक्लूडेड ऑल द मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन ऑन द बिहाफ ऑफ प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन पेपर्स द क्वेश्चन आर रेगुलरली रिपीटिंग इन एग्जाम्स एंड ऑल आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट you can download the pdf of this video from our telegram group its link available in description box so everyone let's begin question number 1 first fetal movement felt by mother is known as option a ballotment option b quickening option c lightning option d all of the above The right answer is option B quickening. Quickening is the moment in pregnancy when the pregnant woman is start to feel or perceive fetal movements in the uterus. It was first felt at 17th week of gestation. Question number 2. Placenta formation completes at option A at 14 weeks, option B at 16 weeks. Option A is the right choice at 14 weeks of gestation placenta formation completes the placenta is a temporary organ that connects the developing fetus via the umbilical cord to the uterine wall to allow nutrient uptake thermoregulation waste elimination and gas exchange via the mother's blood supply to fight against internal infection and to produce hormones which support pregnancy in humans the placenta averages 22 cm in length and 2 to 2.5 cm in thickness with the center being the thickest and the edges being the thinnest it typically weights approximately 500 grams it has a dark reddish blue or crimson color it connects to the fetus by an umbilical cord of approximately 55 to 60 cm in length which contain two umbilical arteries and one umbilical vein which of the following methods is the correct way to calculate the estimated date of delivery option a first day of last menstrual period plus 8 months and 1 week option b first day of lmp plus 9 months lmp stands for last menstrual period option c first day of lmp plus 9 months and 1 week option d none of the above the right answer is option c first day of lmp plus 9 months and 1 week explanation The correct way to calculate the EDD is to add 9 months and 1 week on the first day of the last normal menstrual period. This formula is known as Nagel's rule. Next question is who discovered partograph? Option A Dr R H Phil Porter, option B Dr William Shaw. The correct choice is option A Dr R H Phil Porter they discovered partograph It is also called partograph cervicograph partogram labor graph or labor chart and normogram of cervical dilatation A partogram or partograph is a composite graphical record of key data maternal and fetal during labor entered against time on a single sheet of paper relevant measurement might include statistics such as cervical dilation fetal heart rate duration of labor and vital signs next important question number 5 is when fundal height reaches at zygoid process option a 32 weeks option b at 34 weeks option c at 36 weeks option d 38 weeks 
The right answer is option C at 36 week of gestation fundal height reaches at ziphoid process. Important. Let's discuss fundal height landmarks according to the gestational age. This question is regularly asking in the different exams so you have to remember this. You must remember this. At 12 to 14 weeks of gestation the fundal height reaches at pubic symphysis. At 20 to 22 weeks of gestation the fundal height reaches as umbilicus. At 36 to 40 weeks of gestation it reaches at ziphoid process of sternum. Ziphoid process is a lower part of the sternum bone that is situated middle of the chest. At 37 to 40 weeks of gestation, regression of fundal height between 36 to 32 centimeters. Question number 6. Which period of gestation does third trimester represent? Option A. 27 to 40 weeks. Option B. 30 to 41 weeks. Right choice is option A. 27 to 40 weeks of gestation represents third trimester. The typical pregnancy has three trimesters and lasts around 40 weeks from the first day of woman's last period. The first trimester lasts for the first 12 weeks of pregnancy. The second trimester lasts between weeks 13 to 26 of pregnancy. The third trimester lasts from week 27 until delivery, which is usually around week 40. Question number 7. Which of the following is thought to be cause of hyperemesis gravidum? Option A is underlying infection. Option B overeating. Option C high levels of circulating HCG. Option D. Psychological issue. The right answer is option C. High levels of circulating HCG. Hyperemesis gravidum is a severe form of morning sickness in which women suffer from excessive nausea and vomiting which prevents them from taking inadequate amount of food and water. It is thought to be caused by high level of circulating HCG. HCG stands for Human Chorionic Gonadotropin Hormone. Next question is Total weight gain during pregnancy. Option A 10 kg. Option B 12 kg approx. The right answer is Option B 12 kg. Question number 9. According to the World Health Organization, how much extra amount of calories a woman should take during pregnancy? Option A is 550 calories. Option B 300 calories. The right answer is option B 300 calories. Question number 10. Pap smear is used in the diagnosis of option A cervical cancer option b ovarian cancer the right answer is option a cervical cancer a pap smear also called a pap test it is a procedure to test for cervical cancer in women a pap smear involves collecting cells from your cervix the cervix is a lower narrow end of your uterus that's at the top of your vagina. Detecting cervical cancer early with a pap smear gives you a greater chance at a cure. Question number 11. Which stage of labor placenta delivers? Option A. Stage 2nd. Option B. 3rd stage. The right answer is option B at third stage of labor placenta delivered. Let's have all the three stages of labor's quick revision. There are three distinct stages of labor. First stage. In this stage complete dilation of cervix occurs 
it can be divided into two phases first is latent phase and second is active phase in latent phase cervical dilation occurs 0 to 4 cm in active phase stage 4 to 10 cm cervix dilate second stage of labor begins after the full dilation of cervix that is approximately 10 cm second stage fully dilated till expulsion of fetus Second stage, descent of head occur, it is also called pushing phase. Third stage of labor, following expulsion of the fetus till the placenta and membranes are delivered. Next one, what is the normal weight of uterus during non-pregnant state? The options are A. 20 grams, option B. 40 grams, option C. 60 grams option d 80 grams the right answer is option c 60 grams next question which of the following is main source of estrogen and progesterone after three months of pregnancy the option a is placenta option b ovary the right answer is option a placenta Progesterone. During the early weeks of gestation, the corpus luteum produces progesterone. After 12 weeks, the placenta takes over. Estrogen. As with progesterone, the corpus luteum produces estrogen in the early stage of gestation before the placenta takes over. Next, 14th question. The sticky substance found upon the body of your baby just after the birth, it is known as Option A. Vernix Caseosa Option B. Lanugo The right answer is Vernix Caseosa Vernix Caseosa also known as Vernix It is the waxy or cheese like white substance found coating the skin of newborn human babies it is produced by dedicated cells and is thought to have some protective roles during fetal development and for a few hours after birth lanugo lanugo are the fine soft hair especially that which covers the body and limbs of human fetus question number 15 which of the following is a prostaglandin commonly used in induction of labor option a labetalol option b atenolol option c misoprostol option d none of the above the right choice is option c misoprostol misoprostol is inserted vaginally and causes effacement of the cervix in addition to uterine contraction Next question, vaccine commonly given to the pregnant woman, option A, measles, option B, tetanus. The right choice is option B, tetanus. Question number 17, duration of perperium period, option A, up to 6 weeks of childbirth, option B, up to 6 months of childbirth. Right answer is up to 6 weeks of childbirth is known as perperium period. A postpartum period begins immediately after the birth of child as the mother's body including hormone levels, uterus size returns to a non-pregnant state. The term perperium or puperial period or immediate postpartum period are commonly used to refer to the first six weeks following childbirth. 18th question. What is the most common cause of postpartum hemorrhage? Option A. Uterine atony. Option B. Uterine rupture. Option C. Vulval or vaginal laceration. Option D. Retained placenta. Option A is the correct choice. Uterine atony. The most common cause of postpartum hemorrhage is uterine atony 
However, retained placenta and vaginal laceration also account for significant proportion of PPH. Uterine atony describes a state in which the uterus can no longer effectively contract. Because the uterus cannot contract, the blood vessels which were supplying the placenta are not compressed and can therefore bleed profusely. A uterus can become atonic for a number of reasons such as prolonged labor, large baby, multiple pregnancy and retained placenta. 19th question. First secretion from the mother's breast after delivery is known as Option A. Lochia Option B. Colostrum The right answer is Option B. Colostrum In the field of obstetrics, Lochia is the vaginal discharge after giving birth containing blood, mucus and uterine tissue. Lochia discharge typically continues for 4 to 6 weeks after childbirth, a time known as the postpartum period or perperium. Question number 20. This is the last question. Golden colored amniotic fluid indicates option A intrauterine death, option B post maturity, option C fetal distress, option D RH incompatibility. The right answer is option D RH incompatibility. Normally the amniotic fluid is colorless. So everyone, this is all the 20 important questions collection. Friends, you can download this video's PDF from our telegram. It's link available in description box below or you can simply go on the telegram and search for nurses preparation. You will find it and you can download it from there. Friends, we are working really very hard to serve you best and we want feedback from you. If you think this video is helpful, then please go in the comment box and write your suggestions, feedback. Thank you so much friends for watching this complete video. Please click upon the like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe our YouTube channel for nurses preparation for more interesting videos. All the best.